Greetings, I am Malficious, and I am back with more of Grand Theft Auto Vice City. So, last time, I bought the Ice Cream Factory and Pole Position Club. I got those making money, and I also completed the last list for Sunshine Autos, so that's making the max money now. And uh, we're actually starting to come up on the end game. There's only two asset properties left to purchase, plus Phil Cassidy's side missions and then the final missions. So, yeah, we're going to... might be done with this shortly. Well, we'll see. Uh, I have some Tension Tamer tea tonight, and it's been steeping for about 20 minutes. Mm, yeah, pretty good. Okay, so... I don't really have anything I want to talk about. I, well, I suppose I haven't gotten around to setting up the custom radio channel yet, and I think I'm not going to... Oops! <laughs> okay. Well, that'll happen. Uh, yeah. Well, that works. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna purchase the film studio, although I want to stop by ammunition and get some, um, get some SMGs to start. Uh, can I, yeah, I'll just switch off the audio, because I got well, I got two copyright claims. One was on a flute song from the Espantoso channel, and another was on, um, Africa in the background of the the cutscene for the Cherry Popper Ice Cream Factory at the start of that. Which is weird. I thought that the audio was lowered enough that it wouldn't get picked up, but I guess not. Okay, so, um, oh. Well, this might not be great. Because I still have my want, my one star want level. Although, well, yeah, I can pick up some body armor for free as well. Granted, I don't know if I'm... Granted, this may not be massively critical right now, but, um... It'll be good to, for preparation. So, yeah. As well as going back to the music thing, I've been on a synthwave kick as of late. I've been listening to a lot of Scandroid. I probably should get around to actually purchasing his albums, but... I don't know. Well, anyway, um, I've been thinking about what's coming up soon, and yeah, I'm thinking surviving Mars, Green Planet, probably, but um, there might be something in between Vice City and that, because there's, there's this game I've been looking at for a while, I, I, I actually think I backed it on Kickstarter, and yeah, it met its funding goal. And a uh, demo came out recently, so I've been thinking about playing that, although a fair number, fair number of people have been playing that, so I don't know if I'd have anything new to offer on that, but it would be interesting, I think, to point-and-click adventure game, so that kind of fits in with what other stuff I've been doing. I haven't really been playing that much of Stellaris as of late, though. I've been focusing on other things. Job search, and... I don't know, try, trying to make connections in my chosen field, but... Well... I don't know, I've, I've put in a couple of job applications this past week. I'm hoping something might go somewhere, but I, it's hard to remain optimistic when you're constantly when you're con when you're not even getting anything. Uh, most of the times, I don't even get any response to my applications, and you know sometimes I'll get. Uh, I guess a rejection letter, you know, thank you for your interest, we're not, 
moving forward with your application at this time. But, yeah. I guess I have to just keep trying over and over again until I find something. Alright, so the film studio is here on Prawn Island and it costs 60000 to purchase. And it's going to be several missions before it's actually profitable. But yeah, we've got a um, save point here and there are posters inside the guard shack, I think. Uh, I need a sniper rifle to get a better look at them. But, um... If you go over here, they have a studio set that, this is another reference to Grand Theft Auto 3, I think this is, um, direct, this is a direct copy of the Red Light District, or at least one of the streets from the Red Light District in that game. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a neat little easter egg. Um, what else is there here? I think, uh, yeah, if you go back here, there's a Patriot, so if you need one and you haven't done, um, the, if you haven't done the Malibu Club stuff yet to unlock Phil Cassidy's place. Uh, so anyway, you know, you can go into some of the stages as well, but, um, missions are over here at stage D, so let's go on that. Action. Whoa! Now that's big. Twelve inches. That is regulation, baby. <laughs> Cut! Who is this idiot? You! You! Why are you in my space? Why? What is all this crap? Aliens! Hey, baby, fishing are. poles! Who's ever seen a shark that big? All this stuff's gotta go! Why'd you get in this business, you prick? Huh? For the pussy. That's why. What is this? This is my art. Security! Look, you pompous asshole. I own you now. I own all of this. We're gonna turn this place around. I'm gonna make you rich. Uh, you're, you, you're Tommy Vassetti, but I thought that you were... That's right. We're gonna be making some changes around here and start making some real money. Actually, have you ever thought about, um... Well, first, we're gonna need some good-looking bras. Yeah, girls are fine, but you... Phew, wow. What's that guy think <laughs> this is? Some free art crap? Jeez, like anyone ever watch movies about fish? All right, so Steve Scott, who we haven't seen since the, um, you know, the, the party, uh, is voiced by the late Dennis Hopper, who is, yeah, again, quite a character actor. At, I don't know, off the top of my head, I can only really think of him as being in the movie Speed, and... He might have been in an episode of uh, King of the Hill. At least that's where I remember him from. I, uh, at least that's why I associate with him. So, you know, I ought to re. I, ought, I should have rewatched that episode. I, I have it on. Um, I bought it through. I, I bought the first season of King of the Hill through iTunes, and the episode I'm thinking of is Hank's Got the Willies. Yeah, and, and so. It's it's at the the end of the episode where they you know they're at, at the they're at the party Willie Nelson is throwing and and Peggy is talking with Dennis Hopper because she's angry at Hank. Get out of the way. But um yeah oh yeah also the character Steve Scott I'm pretty sure the name is supposed to be a combination of um whoops oh come on. I think the name is supposed to be a combination of Steven Spielberg and Rid Ridley Scott. You know, two of the biggest film directors. Um, but yeah, anyway, I need this, uh, I need a four-door car for this mission. This is the one I was thinking of when I was picking up Mercedes for the Love Fist mission. So, uh, yeah, we need to go pick up Candy Sucks, who we also haven't seen since the party. And she's over, yeah, the, well, she's over here, it looks like. Or at least we'll meet her here. Yeah, here's Candy, looks like she's been with Congressman Shrub again. Did my car just disappear? Yo, Candy, I'm looking for movie talent. You interested? Sure. But you'd have to talk to my agents. The hell are you doing? 
You should have stayed at home today. Can you believe this, asshole? Oh, you wanna hide? All right, so we have to uh, kill his security. You know, and I'll switch to Uzi, and uh, now I have to chase down and kill the pimp because. Well, yeah, he's not going. I guess he's not going to let Candy do this because I think she's her this principal money maker. Okay. Now, and now he's yeah. There we go. All right. Uh, oh. Okay. Didn't know there were more guys there, but how did that, how did that work? He had three guys. Get out of his car. He drives off. I start shooting at him, and three more guys get out of his car. He gets out of his car, and I kill him, and then three more guys get out of his car. All right. Well, yeah. Now we can get Candy to come with us. Come on, let's go. And uh, interestingly, Candy is voiced by adult film actress Jenna Jameson. And that's all I have on to say on the subject because I. Yeah, I, that, that's all I want to say on that subject. Do not want to cast judgment on anything. Um, okay, that might have been, well, okay, that works. Oh, I can pick up this police bribe here to clear my one star. Um, yeah, so this is why we need a four-door car. We have to go pick up Mercedes. And it looks like she's at the uh, Wellstack Pizza Company. So, yeah, not that far. We'll stop here, and Candy gets out for some reason. I don't know why. Hey, Mercedes. Hey, Tommy. You want a party? Not now, sweets. You interested in doing some movies? Of course, as long as it's cheap and sleazy. <laughs> You're hired. Get in. All right, so yeah, now we just have to take them back to the studio, which fortunately shouldn't be that hard to get to from downtown. Oh yeah, it looks like there's a car across the way in case you uh, in case you brought a two door here. All right, that's good to know. Or if you bought a, or if you took a motorcycle, so yeah. That, that, that works out well. I guess the people at Rockstar thought this out more than I do, which is weird because I'm—I I don't know—one of the paths I'm considering is game development. I'm, I kind of would like to try my own hand at making games, and I have a few ideas, but I'm not entirely sure how to get started. So I probably should be researching, like development in the Unity engine. I, I mean, I've been kind of doing some work in Python, trying to develop uh, an application to make Sudoku games, but, um... Hey, Tommy, you coming in for a warm-up? Maybe later, babe. That. I like that she is impressed with the shark. As um, I think we're gonna get a look at the shark later. Um, all right, so I I can't remember what is the next mission. Uh, is it? Well, we'll see. Oh yeah, this one. How's filming going, Steve? Well, Candy is a natural. And that new girl, she's insatiable. She went through half the cast and crew before I even took a light reading. Anyway, hey, tomorrow we're going on location to shoot the boat scenes. Boat scenes? What boat scenes? The fishermen are in the throes of passion when the giant shark comes in. What'd I say about the giant shark? Oh, boy. I said, no giant shark, all right? Just keep the cameras pointed at the poon tag. Okay, okay. Hey, Tommy, you guys got to try, right? Get those flyers printed up. Yeah, but nobody's going to let us distribute those things. I mean, they're just too, uh, they're unimaginative. You don't worry about that. I've got my own ideas for distribution. Okay. Hey, Candy, uh, in my trailer. 